and welcome back to Music Freak Gaming here on YouTube. I hope you're having a fabulous day. Man, it is great to be back. It's been, well, it's been almost a week and a half since uh, the last stream, and man, I've missed it. It's it's great to be back with you all. Um, had a bit of a road trip, which was, <laughs> which was fun. Headed up to... Uh, Washington and Oregon and all that fun stuff. And it's a long drive from Colorado. <laughs> it's kind of sucks. But it was a good trip. And I'm but I'm glad to be back and all that fun. Um hey, speaking of fun, because fun is a thing I do try to do here while I'm streaming. Also, my back hitches, which is less fun. But no, we are gonna do fun. We're gonna do fun. We're gonna jump into some hardcore Minecraft. And as usual, I will be recording for a video and all that other fun stuff. So let's uh, get into this and I'll tell you all what I'm doing as I record the video. And welcome back to Going Hard here on Music Free Gaming. It is great to have you here and I'm back in hardcore Minecraft where as usual, if I die, the game the world it this all ends this all ends and i don't get to play in this world anymore so i'm trying hard to not die and as part of that i'm all blue and shiny now i had a little free time and i spent some time off camera and i upgraded my armor using my new afk farm that i built in the last video the afk xp farm it's awesome it's amazing but now i have something else i want to do And uh, let's go take a look at it because it's going to be fun. Okay, we'll drop down here first. Yes, and I have done a little bit of other work off stream. I was catching up on some YouTube videos and did some did some grunt work. So you know, it's it's a thing. Yes, hello, cat. So I'm over here, right? There's my furnace array. And there's my cherry trees. Well, I've got a problem in that getting to the cherry trees is a, is a little bit of a pain. And so is getting to the river. So what I decided to do was dig out a couple of tunnels. Got this one for foot traffic. And I've dug out one down here, which will eventually be for boats. But I thought what would be cool would be to build a, a tunnel that's basically an aquarium so you go through and it's it's air and you know enough water for a boat to go through on, on the inside but you're basically going through a tube that's glass and water and fish and stuff hence you know aquarium so i th think that's what i'm going to be working on to start with today but as much as i'd like to get started i think i need to get some glass and I want to get some other things like frogs, which might be fun to have in and around the aquarium. So I think that's going to be the first step. Yes, hello, cat. Yeah, so step one is to get stuff. And yes, I dug this out. This was, this was a nice little area to dig. I've been meaning to drop it down. I think I've talked about that a few times in the last streams and stuff. Okay, fortunately, bubble vaders are nice for getting up and down places. Um, I've got enough stuff for torches. I am going to need... Oh, probably some buckets. Got some water buckets, but some empty ones would be useful. If I'm going to get frogs, I'm going to want some slime. <clears throat> so that should be good. And anything else? I think... Oh, I'm going to need some obsidian. Because I need to set up some portals. Some obsidian and a flint and steel. So let's go see how much obsidian I have. This could really slow me down if I don't have much, but... You know what happens? All right, obsidian. 15. That is not a lot. 
because what I really need is like 30. What I could do, can I sneak into this? That's crying obsidian. Let's try the uh, actual obsidian here, shall we? All right, that'll work. <laughs> I'll rob the filter, it's fine. I really need to get up there and just throw some more gold down, but yeah, you know, we're okay. Okay, so I need that. Let's grab a flint and steel. Okay, oh, apparently some gold, cool. Oh, man, I was reaching for my water to prevent that cough from happening. And a little bit of uh, spit caught in my throat. You know how that goes? It sucks. All right. Cool. So the first thing I want to do is I do want to get some sand. So fortunately, I know where there's a desert. And also fortunately... I have a portal built, but it's not connected in the nether yet. So what I want to do is head out to that portal. All right, which is going to be out here on the nether roof somewhere. Minus 18. That's this one. Oh, I should probably have some torches here. Minus 18. That would be here. And minus 231. Okay, that's going to be this way. Ha, ha cool. 18, huh? Minus 231. Fortunately, it's not too far out here. The desert's out this way a little bit, but not too bad. Oh, I should have... Mm. All right, well, I'll get some. I was just thinking I, I should have brought, like, a crafting table. Or, uh some other stuff to I really I, I kind of need to top off the top of this uh, portal so it's safe but you know you know how it is so 231 should be about here now I got these coordinates last time I was at the portal when I built it in the first place so should be good so 18 and 231 is going to be here. Okay. Three. Okay. Two. And then. All right. So if I've done my math right, which is always an interesting question, this portal should take me into my desert. Uh, we shall see. Well, that's a hard nope. That That's definitely a nope. Um, <laughs> minus 18, minus 231. Okay. Well, I have no idea where I am, but this is... Uh, Oh, I, this is positive 18. Okay. We'll try this again. See? Math. It's a thing. You know, people should, should try using it once in a while. <clears throat> and by people, I mean me. Because, uh, you know, it would save me all of this time taking down this portal. Also, it turns out negative signs, very important. Okay, very important. So, highly recommend one looks at the uh, the sign of the thing that they're doing. All right, let's try this again. All right, so I need to be at minus 18, which is right over here. Minus 18 and 231, clunk. Okay, one, 
two, three. One, two, and whoop, okay. There we go, we got this, we got this. <clears throat> and I'm just going to uh, <clears throat> change this path. I may use it, some stuff later, but you know, we'll change it. Hey, how's it going, James? Welcome, welcome. Hope your day is going well. And now here's hoping I actually get this, got this portal in the right place because obviously the last one didn't work out too well. Oh, so yeah, welcome back. Hopefully, ah, yes. Um, okay. Yeah. Oh, so that worked. It worked. Got me where I needed to be. So I am preparing to build a, an aquarium tunnel. And then, um, I also, since I'm out here, I'm going to be doing some other things. Hang on. All right. Sorry. Coughing, coughing. Yeah, so I'm out here at my desert village, and I'm going to be getting some more sand so I can that I can smelt down for glass because, yeah, that is going to be using a heck of a lot of glass to build the aquarium. Ow! Also, walking into cactus because that's fun. Um, but also, since I'm out here, I think there's a mangrove swamp out sort of maybe this way a little bit. So let's go see if we can find it and see if maybe there's frogs and, you know, mangrove. Yeah, all that good stuff. Um, let's, see. let's make sure I know where this is at. Minus 1831 and minus 50. Okay. I'm sure I'll remember where that is. <laughs> totally will. That That's how that works. But you know what I should have done is grab that camel. It probably would have been faster than uh, than running. Also, I didn't bring a bed. That's just stupid. I've done a lot of stupid things in this game, but running out to the middle of nowhere without a bed is definitely one of them, and probably a, not a great thing to have done. Well, I came out to this totally unprepared. It's like, could I have been prepared to do things? Sure. Am I not even a little bit? Oh, this is what happens when you don't play Minecraft for a, a week. You just totally forget everything in the world. Ah, fortunately, there's a bed and a crafting table. So, yay. Let's hear it for theft or something. Okay. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Anyway, now let's head back. I could ride the camel, but I don't have a lead and I don't have a fence post to attach it to. So the fence post is easy. The, the lead is a little tougher. Yeah, I'm glad I can be back too. I am. I said I was, I was gone. I had a, I was on a road trip and was, uh, it was fun. It was just really long. Ah, huh, look. Look what I found. There's the portal I just screwed up. So, hey, a free obsidian. Nice. So it wasn't too far away from my, uh, from my village. I guess it wouldn't be. I was only off by, like, 30 blocks. Oh, but yeah, I'm glad to be back. I was, I was missing Minecraft something fierce. I start a channel, but you don't have a PC. Well, that is a little bit of a challenge. Not an insurmountable one, uh, but you'd have to have a console capable of handling the, the streaming. Okay. All right.
Alrighty. I mean. So. Huh. Alright, what we have here. Aha! Aha! The sun is setting. But there it is. There is a mangrove swamp. Uh, I think I'm going to sleep before I make my way over there. But, uh. Oh, this is going to be. This is going to be good. I'll get some frogs. I'll get some mangrove wood. Because mangrove is such a lovely block. And, uh. Yeah. And, yep, I've brought slime with me. So I didn't come totally unprepared. Just, you know, mostly unprepared. Huh. That thing gets up there, doesn't it? All right. Whew. Oh, it's a, oh, right. This helmet probably doesn't have uh, respiration on it. No, it does not. Cool. All right. Nice. Oh, grab some propagules. I do need to grab some leaves, too, I think, just to make that easier. Now, because if I want to grow more of these, I'm going to need more propagules and stuff. But, oh, hang on. Just because I, uh, I feel like not getting lost in the swamp. I mean, I don't know about you all, but... Aha! Aha! There's a frog. What's... Ah, there's another frog. Perfect. Okay, so... I was hoping to find a little bit of... Actual... Natural water here, but... Short of that, we'll just uh, create our own. All right, let's grab some slime here. All right. Hey, how's it going there, Mick? Welcome, welcome. I hope you're having a fabulous day. Where did the other frog go? There it is. Hi, come here. Ah, yes, we are getting ourselves some happy little frogs. And I'm, yes, come on, over this way. Yeah, y'all know what to do. Okay, no, no, come back here. No, there was water right there. Where the heck are you going? I, no, right here, dude, there, there's water right here. You can, you can come here and do your froggy business right here in this water and it will make everybody happy, but especially me. Okay, yeah. Get in the water. See? There's water there. Ah. <sighs> Silly froggy. No, huh? You're gonna, like... I just want you to make of the frogs. Survival of the species and all that stuff, right? Yes, come. Make new frogs. I don't know if it has to be a certain depth. I don't think it does. But these frogs are seriously not getting with the program, you know? <sighs> All right, well, fine. You do your thing. Let's see if I can't uh, maybe do a little something here to uh, keep the frogs where I want them. Also, maybe a little light around here would be a, a good thing. Okay, well, rain is a thing we're going to deal with too. Okay, you guys. Hi, look. Yeah, see, you guys want to... I don't know what's up with these frogs. They're just going to be... As long as I don't run off, as long as I can still find them, I'll try try them again here in five minutes, and we'll see if uh, they want to do more of the tadpole making. Because that's what's fun in, in froggy space, right? <sighs> I just need a couple of 
tadpoles. So that I can take them back to my place. Now, a couple of... Uh, no, I'm not going to try to bring these frogs back. I'd like to, but I didn't bring any leads with me, so... So we'll just have to go without them, but... No? No? Really? You're not going to... Okay. Though, I guess, to be fair, it hasn't been five minutes yet, you know. So we'll just set ourselves up a nice tiny little shack here. And... Hopefully it'll be relatively safe, right? Okay. Move the uh, torch here. Hi guys. Yeah, you're you're going to have fun here. No, this is going to be great. You're going to love it. It'll be a nice little happy froggy paradise. Okay, it's going to be a b boring box, but I'm sure uh, it'll still be a happy froggy paradise despite the the boring box. Okay, they're they're gonna just jump out, no, which is fine, I suppose. <clears throat> oh, I need to get up on top of this and hit these mangroves, mangrove trees from the top. On the plus side, I do have some mangrove wood. Oh, cheese monkeys! No, 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 no! You you are not gonna be. Ow. Okay, I said ow, but the reality is. That was, there's lots of not ow happening there because I actually have armor now and, oh, what was I thinking? I built this, all right, no, that's fine. I built it with an even number of blocks. That's, that's probably just wrong somehow, but that's okay. We'll, uh, we'll survive. Okay, so I do want to. Some of that and craft up a mangrove door. This is a house that's going to have fairly low blast resistance, I think. But it's okay. Come here. Come here. You're gonna, you're gonna have it. Have all sorts of fun here. It's gonna be great. Oh, the other thing I should do is I should set up a nether portal over here. So I have easy access to the swamp. Okay, up you go. Cool. Now, are you going to be... Yes, you're all heartsy and you're all heartsy. And... Can you, like... Okay. Well, they claim to have done everything they needed to do. I mean, I'm not entirely sure they did, but that was the claim anyway. Now this is not... Ah, they did. They did. Oh, wonderful. I actually got... Well, frog spawn. And come back here, frog. You're going to... Look, I know it's not a great house, but you're actually going to love it in here. Just, just eventually. Trust me. It's going to be great. In the meantime... I've got lots of frog spawn, which will be perfect for scooping up and using for my own whims later, which is going to be great. Oh, it's not going to be today, but sometime in the not too distant future, there is going to be a frog light farm. Okay, let's see if I can get up to any of this here. Mangrove trees are just easier to deal with from the top. You know, it's just... Unfortunately, I didn't bring a... Uh, I didn't bring a hoe with me. Okay, there we go. I didn't bring a hoe, I didn't bring shears, I didn't bring anything. Which is uh, sort of unfortunate because... Yeah, it's really easier to deal with these mangrove trees if you hit them with some hit them with some sh shears or something just to get rid of the leaves. And it's annoying because I actually crafted up 
a nice fortune hoe. Okay, I think. Let's see. How do I want to do this? Hey, welcome, welcome. How's it going there, uh, El Macho Taco? Well, welcome indeed. Tacos are always great. All right. So this is going to be, again, stupid boring house. All right, but you know, it's, it's uh, right now I just want a little safe space to uh, be able to settle down in and you know, I'll, I'll set up another portal, I think, on one end of this. Awesome, awesome. So let's see, where do I want to set up the portal? I think over here, I'll, uh, I know I just put this wall in, but let's go and take out some of this. What's up? Well, thank you. I uh, appreciate it. All right. Yeah, this is this is going to be all sorts of fine, right? Oh, I should also maybe, you know, sleep because night and stuff. Oh. <sighs> All right, cool. One, two, three, and okay. Yeah, yeah. Two, three. All right, nice. So that will be well. That will be a portal. That there's. I was gonna try to say, is there gonna be some form of actual description of this thing? Yeah, no. It's this is it's just a portal. <clears throat> All right, and let's see if I can light it without burning down the place. Oh, I should, hang on. Uh, trigger, let's see, in overworld. Let's grab the coordinates where this is gonna be in the nether. Okay, so 56 minus 229. <clears throat> All right, well, that's fine. 56 minus 229. Awesome. That should that should take care of it. All right. Cool. And I'll go through that later. In the meantime, ah, oh, just have to wait for those that frog spawn to become tadpoles. Hey, fresh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're having a fabulous day. Glad to have you out here. Oh, I'm doing the really, really exciting task of waiting for tadpoles to hatch. Because then I, I can take them back. Because it'd be nice to have some frogs in and around the aquarium I'm going to be building um, in my, my next episode. So, yeah, all the fun. Okay, so I've got I've got a few logs. Not a lot, but I think I'll build more. More stuff later. Oh, sinking in the pool. That's cool, too. All right. All right, this should this should do it. <clears throat> yeah, see, I, I really like mangrove wood. It's just a really great texture. Uh, but it's really nice. I love the mangrove uh, trap doors with frog lights. That's a really nice combination. It works well too with sea lanterns, but <clears throat> frog lights are going to be a lot closer to my in my future than sea lanterns. Since uh, I'm not really up for raiding a uh, uh, an ocean monument today. I don't have no idea what you're talking about. All right. <clears throat> okay. Oh, you know what I should do is grab some. Uh... Hmm. Need more energy and stuff. Yeah. Well, you know, we all deal with things differently. 
Okay, so let's grab some stairs. Stairs are good. I don't like paying the stairs tax, but you know, we all do what we have to. Uh, what I should do is get a lot more stairs. Ah, we're fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Totally. If it were any more fine, it would, I don't know, be okay or something. Yeah, we're good. Everything's, yeah. Cool. So we'll run stairs across this way. Let's grab some slabs, which I made a zillion of because slabs are cool. This is good. It's going to be the cheesiest looking little house, but it's really just a safety shack, so I'm not too concerned about it. Yeah, I've got a few subs. I, I try not to pay too close attention to the numbers, but yeah, I got a few. All right, so this is going to come out this way. We'll grab, fill in the stairs there around the portal. Okay. And we'll just crouch our way through here. Cool. Oh, hey, tadpoles. Awesome. And buckets. Oh, stuff. Okay, come here, tadpole. Gotcha. Oh, come back here. Aha. All right. Tadpoles are uh, acquired. That's... Wonderful. I'll wait for this next batch to hatch too, because I'd like to get a couple more to bring back with me, but I think this is going to work. <clears throat> mm. Yeah, the green and red contrast is, is really nice, actually. Oh, perfect. More tadpoles. Come back here. Gotcha. All right, yeah, um, what I should do is see if I can get those frogs back in here. Um, well, I might as well not put the frogs in until I can actually put finish putting the roof on this place. So let's do that first. But yeah, mangrove, it, it's got a great color. So you can do all sorts of good stuff with it. All right, and it works really well with uh, bamboo and deep slate. So, and of course, as I mentioned before, the frog lights. So, yeah, tadpoles are small. You'd think you'd be able to put a few more of them in a bucket, but if uh, Minecraft actually dealt with logic, we'd, uh, it would be a little weird, so. All right, so we'll get these stairs in place. All right. Once I get these in, then I'm gonna go see if I can track down, down those frogs and get them in the house. All right, so there's one frog, come here. Admittedly, the frogs are not fast. <laughs> so I'm going to be heading back to my base. Actually, uh, as soon as I get these frogs in. Oi. Come here, froggy. I could take a side trip to go see if I can find a savanna, but... That may be a problem for future me. Okay. Okay, so I've got a tadpole in there. It will hatch eventually. Hi. Wonderful. There you go. All right. And now, let's see. There was one other frog around. Mm, maybe I'm just not going to worry about it. If it's still close, I might. But I think... I think we're good. So let's go ahead and we'll take those out. Cool. Awesome. And I've got another portal, so I can get back here quickly next time. So, sweet. 
All right, is there anything else I want to get while I'm out here? I've got mud, I've got propagules, I've got leaves, so I can make more mangrove. No. I think I'm set. I brought a frog in. Still got a tadpole that'll grow up eventually. I Eventually, I'll probably end up with frogs on the nether roof. Actually, I know I will because I will put them there. But for now, I think this is good. It's time to head home. Oh, there's the other frog. Hi, frog. It's time to head home and... Oh, I should probably grab some glass. That was the other reason I'm out here. And then I'll head home because sand is a little hard to find where I live. Fortunately, it's not too bad. I don't need much. I'll, I'll dig up a couple of... Probably... Yeah, maybe three or four stacks. It's not going to be a big deal. All right, so right there's the swamp. So keep on keeping on. So it's only about 300 blocks this way to the city. I've sort of... I'm going to say taken over, but at least made my base camp out here in the desert. What I really need to do is uh, take some time, maybe eventually, and build up this this little city that's out here. But that, like so many things, is a problem for future me. In the meantime, I would like to get there before dark. That may not happen. It's all right. Sleeping is a thing. You know, it's one of those things that's sort of liberating when you're playing um, hardcore. Is because I don't have to worry about my spawn point unless I'm coming back from the end. I don't really care about sleeping in random locations. If I'm playing in survival, just straight survival, then yeah, sleeping in a random place and breaking my bed could be really annoying. But here in hardcore, yeah, who cares? <laughs> It's been a while since you've seen a good live stream. Well, hopefully this will uh, be a, be one, but you know, never can tell. All right, so what I'm gonna need to do is, definitely don't need those. Let's see, what do I have that I don't need? Slime blocks, oh, I kind of want all of that. So, okay. Suppose I could collapse those two buckets, but that's okay. This will work. So I'll just load up on those guys. Where's my shovel? And here we go. Let's just uh, meander out here a little ways and get with the diggy diggy. You like this one? Well, thank you. I hope to be at least mildly entertaining. <sighs> All right. But I do have... A fair amount of glass back home but I'm not sure it's gonna be enough this is actually it's gonna be a long enough tunnel and I'm not entirely sure how I'm gonna handle some of the glass walls for the aquarium that it's, that it's gonna that's gonna be in the tunnel so I just want to give myself a little little breathing room all right well and that is all I've got cool all right, let's head home. All right, back through into the temple, which I have taken as my own. Oh, hey. Might as well put a door on it. Uh, We'll put it on the inside. Yeah, see, the mangrove looks so good with uh, these yellow textures, man. I need to widen this portal, but... Uh, so many things are problems for future me. Oh, this would be so much nicer once I get an elytra. But I haven't gotten there yet. And <laughs> it's funny. It says I'm on day 428, which is a little bit. It's not a lie. I am on day 428, but I did AFK a bit. So <laughs> if you're worrying about the progress well that's why it's maybe not quite where it could be but all right yeah this is my 
my uh, gold bartering farm, and way up there is a uh, gold farm. And an AFK XP farm, actually. So that's kind of nice. All right. And away we go. All right. Nice. Okay, cool. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying it. All right. So I do have a chest here for mangrove. There it is. So we'll throw some of the mangrove in later. Mob draw. Oops. Propagules. Oh, that's going to go in there, too. I don't think I have a space for moss yet. Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay, I do. Cool. Oh, yeah, that's why I did find a little bit of a mossy thing. Cool. And I know I have a spot for mud because I was using it not too long ago. Okay. Cool beans. All right, so I don't have a place to uh, deal with these tadpoles yet. So for now, let's just put them in a, one of my project boxes over here. So we'll just dump those in there. All right. And let's grab some glass. Uh, yeah. You know, I may end up dying some of this, but let's, let's drop down here where uh, everything is and we'll take a look. So for those of you who are eager to see my base, um, I, I can, but I have a, I have a wall right here for subscribers over on Kofi. So Kofi subscribers, I'll put your name up on the wall. Well, it is a, a little bit better grass. Um, and the, the moss carpets are great for hiding light sources. All right. So let's go ahead and cook that up. All right, so yeah, this is sort of my base. I've got a bamboo farm that feeds partly bamboo because I'm having fun building with that. But the bamboo also fuels a furnace, furnace array here that uh, comes back here and then it's, you can see it collects bamboo for fuel. So yeah, all that fun stuff. Then over here is my iron farm output and villager trading hall. You have to leave real quick. Okay. Hey, no worries. Remember to uh, hit that notification bell so YouTube will tell you when I'm live or have new videos again. And yeah, so up this way, there's my iron farm, villager breeder, and my house. Real simple so far, but again, I've, it's not like I've been playing it in this world for a huge amount of time, but I do want to now look at um, this portal. So let's get some glass, 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 glass. Did. Okay. Awesome. Okay. So that's going, um, I've got glass. What I need is something else. Oh yeah. I think I want to make some of this glass blue. So let's get, uh, that's probably more than I'm going to need, but hi guys. Let's, uh, I need some cash. So my fortune is founded in iron. Okay. Cool. Because what I want to do is I want to get some lapis. Hi. Lapis, please. More lapis. Okay. Advice for a beginner. So. Start simple. <laughs> Don't try to build mega bases or, or something like that right away. Um, so, let's see. You know, sleep when it gets dark. Punch trees. You know, all that fun stuff. Alright, so let's get some blue... 
Oh, right. I've got to turn the lapis into dye first. Okay. And, uh, honestly, for Minecraft beginner, watch other, well, you can experiment yourself. Watch other Minecrafters. Like, um, a lot of the hermits are a great place to start. You know, people like Pearlescent Moon or, or stuff like that. It's, uh, they are awesome. And it's just a great way to see different ways of using the blocks and stuff. I would not recommend jumping straight into survival or straight, straight into hardcore. <laughs> but... Uh, yeah, because hardcore is fun, but definitely can be frustrating if you're new. All right. So that's going to go there. I think what I want to do is we're going to come in, I think, with a little bit of... I think we're going to come in with a little bit of a semicircle here. So... All right, yeah, so I've put in a little bit of glass down here. I'm leaving this concrete in because I don't want to let the water flow down that way yet. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this up here and go with a little bit, sort of a sort of a circular design a little bit. I think it's going to make this look kind of cool. And so we're just going to bring it up this way. Now, this might be a little bit too big. Uh, if it is, eh, no, actually, given the size of the hill, I think it's okay. So, yeah, we'll just sort of set this here, and then we'll figure out how, how do the rest of the shapes out as we go on. <clears throat> starting peaceful. Um, yeah, honestly, I wouldn't start peaceful because peaceful is probably the hardest mode to actually play in. Uh, just because... It, it's hard. You can't, there are actually some resources you can't get in peaceful, but but yeah, you can definitely start on easy. Um, you want a really good uh, tip? Check out um, Pixel Riffs. Uh, I think it's P I X L R I F F S. I think I can't remember. If he's got two Fs or one, but Pixel Riffs. Um, has the Minecraft survival guide, which has a lot of great tips for uh, Minecrafters and getting started in survival Minecraft. He plays in Java. Most of his... Oh, I still have a bed on me. Ah, perfect. Most of his advice translates to Bedrock if you're playing in Bedrock. But um, it's, a, it's an excellent series. And he breaks down most of the most of the fun stuff and just weirdness and things that are good to know when you're just starting out. So let's see, I want to, where do I want to, I'm going to need a dock of some sort <laughs> to get in and out. Not sure quite where I want to put that. Let's see, hang on, free cam out here for a minute. Just looking at the shape of the terrain. Uh, all right, let's come out over this way. If you are a subscriber on Kofi, I can do that. Okay. And, uh, cause that's, that's where the action is, so to speak. <laughs> um, but yeah, hang on, just, uh, oh, really? Just double checking some things. Of course, probably the safest thing would, to do would have been to pause the game. Have ever made a dock? Yes, I have. Uh, it's not something I do often because I don't often uh, build by, the, by an ocean or a river, but honestly, my favorite biomes to build in are mountain biomes. And so... Not a lot of rivers and things there. But that's okay. That is just fine. Okay. 
So I just double checked uh, my Kofi stats, and you're not subscribed there. You might be following over there, but you're not. You're not a, a, a subscriber. Uh, if I die in my hardcore world, I'll probably I'll go uh, probably head back to my vanilla world for a little while. I haven't played in there for almost a year, I think. So. So that'll be fun, but. All right, so yeah, we're gonna come out this way. Now, I think what would be awesome would be to figure out, or maybe awesome's the wrong word, but useful would be to tie in with whatever's happening over here. So, because this is gonna be my foot traffic out this way so I can get to my Cherry blossom tree is easier. So, yeah. Okay. All right. So that's going to be interesting. So let's go ahead and dig out a bunch of this. Oh, this is the slow part. This is one of those times where I really miss playing in create mod where I've got drills. Yeah, that's something I am going to be doing more in Create Mod, um, but I need a little break from it before I get back to it. So, but that was a lot of fun. Since I typically like doing stuff like automation and redstone and stuff, Create Mod let me scratch that itch in a way that was really kind of exciting. So. So, yeah, I'm kind of missing that a little bit, but I also got kind of burnt out on it, so I'll get back to it. The good news is that world is available for download for Kofi subscribers, so you all want to see that. Of course, all the videos are up on YouTube, too, so there's that fun, too. All right. All right, so we'll just dig this out this way. Now, I don't... I don't know actually if I want the the um, thing, the aquarium, to go all the way back out to here, or if I want to stop it and come out this way into stone or something. Because I am going to then event bring this path all the way out here to the river. That's sort of the point here. I'll make a Mario pipe. Yeah. Those could be fun. But I don't think it's going to go with... Well, I don't know if I have a style. <laughs> but... Uh, Alright, so... But the what I'm wanting, wanting to do here... Oh, sw is swim. Okay. Cool, so what I want to do is I want to build out the aquarium. Now... Right, because I'm going to float along through here, right? This will all be glass. And then right through here, it's gonna be something. So the person to subscribe to, let me uh, get this, I think, I think it's spelled that way. Is, uh, but if you search for the Minecraft survival guide should I uh, should uh, get you to it too. So he's got he's got a lot of good videos. He just started a new series um, with the one dot twenty upgrade. What was it? A couple weeks ago? Uh, yeah, a month or so back, maybe. I, f I forgot. He had taken a break because he had he had some computer trouble. He had to send his computer in. But definitely worth uh, checking out if you're new to Minecraft. Because his his uh, guides are usually pretty, pretty straightforward and easy to understand. And he said he covers the, the, all the basics for, for getting started with Minecraft. You get some really basic redstone. You've got some just 
general tips on, hey, here's how you stay alive. And then gets into some of the more advanced stuff, like more redstone, villager trading halls, things like that. So, yeah. It's a real, really, really nice uh, way to get started there. All right. So I think, I don't know that I need this to go super crazy. Probably. Oh, I'm probably going to need to go get more sand, but not right now. Because I do need a bottom of the aquarium, <laughs> right? I do need something, you know, some sort of seabed or something. All right, but I don't think I need this to be super wide. So let's come out three blocks. Three blocks might be good. All right, so one, two, three. Yeah. Now, that side I'll be able to see it. This side, I don't know that I want to carve out too much of this hill, but I will see it as it starts to come up and around. Of course, three blocks puts it one, two, th hang on, free cam up here, one, two, three, right there. You gaming videos with me. Um, I would say probably not yet, but because uh, hmm. I I don't uh, I don't know you well enough to be able to trust content I'm doing to what you're doing. Since I do have to try to. I don't, don't have to. I want to maintain a, uh, you know, the whole family-friendly Dealy Bob here, so. All right, so I think, let's see now, that's... Yeah, so that's going to go that way. Cool. I think three might be a little bit too much. Let's knock this back to two. Okay. All right, yeah, I think that's going to work a little bit better. Yeah, no, understandable. And it takes a little while to get into sort of how all of this, the whole streaming game works, which is its, which is its own special breed of weird, I'll, have to, I'll tell you. All right, so I think let's go ahead and dig down here. And yeah, all right. I abuse free camp way too much, but I don't care. <laughs> all right, so this is going to come up two and three. That is going to be the top of the aquarium right there. With the idea then I'll run the glass over the top. This guy is going to come up this way. All right, so let's go and dig this out here. Oh, night is falling. Cool. <laughs> Can I give you a shout out? Well, we've been talking a lot, so shout out, probably not. What if somebody decides they want to uh, do something based off of your uh, chat history here? I suppose they could. But there are a few things, talking about new to streaming, that are considered really bad form. Asking for shout outs, okay? Um, asking to uh, collab while a person's on stream. Usually you, you want to ask those questions off, off stream, right? So, Okay, so that's going to go there. So one, two, it's going to go there. Okay, I think I want to do this. Like that. Boy, that circle looks really stupid. <laughs> I mean, kind of, kind of looks really, really bad. Um, ah, okay, I guess I'm living the water now. 
Okay, so one, two, one, two. So that's three, that's... All right, well, this is why I don't do circles. Um, hmm. Actually, that might be good. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, it's... I kind of understand it, though. I think Mojang wanted to be a little bit more consistent on what you could use to dye things. And it's like, oh, well, this this place you can use bone meal, but this place you can't. And yeah, it's just all around. I, I think it's a little bit easier to understand from a beginner's perspective. Ugh. Okay. I might be able to figure this out. Okay. Also, I might now be very, very wet. How the heck am I going to get, make this circle work? All right, so that's gonna go, and that's just gonna be wet down there. All right. What I might need to do, actually might be better to do this on the other side and then mirror it over, because the other side, I do tend to, I do plan to take out a little bit more of this, so. Yeah, this might be, this might make more sense here. I, it is an extra step, but I don't necessarily, necessarily think it's a bad extra step. That's actually probably what I need to do here. Um, if I just... Hang on. Let's take this out. Okay. That's going this way. Let's go one, two, one, two... Is that right? I ah, shoot. All right, I need to free cam. But yeah, no, I understand though. It's definitely confusing. Oh, that's because I went up three or four. Okay, that's how that's gonna look. Ah, much better. Ah, muy bueno. Okay. Oh, my Spanish is almost as bad as my redstone. Okay. <laughs> All right, so let's get around here. We'll get, try to get this, the top of this circle sorted out now. So that's just going to go out this way. Right, so that'll go to there like that. Okay. Okay, we got it. Oh. Yes, 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 I think so. All right, so let's free cam over. That top is matching, that's matching. All right, nice. Cool, let's clean this out because I'm going to fill that with glass. You know, I filled it with blue. But maybe what I should do is change the inside a little bit so that it's not solid blue all the way around. Maybe I want to come at it with, ooh, 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 yeah, yeah. Okay. Those of you who are wondering what a caveman rapping sounds like, that was the impression actually right there. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's... um. This is why rap didn't really take off until the 80s, because it's just really hard to do well. Okay, so get this in place. Now, I think what I want to do is let's fill in a different color in these corners. And I know I've got a bunch of sand that was just over here cooking. 
Let's get a stack of that and oh, still have emeralds on me. Let's see what what color. I could try to go with a light blue, which oops, that's not where I want that to go. Oh, I moved stuff just recently. I forgot where everything is. All right. Ah, itchy nose. Okay. Um. All right, so now, let's see. Let's see, let's see. So, got some stuff there. All right. Got some blue. So, yeah, I could, could do some light blue. I could do some white. That would be good, too. I don't have any green yet, so cyan is out. Um, I don't think green would be a good color by itself. Yeah, no, I I agree. I just don't have a, uh, I'd have to go, I have a little bit of cactus, I just don't have a, like a cactus farm or anything set up right now. I suppose I can make my way back to the, to the desert and, <laughs> I don't know, y'all, let's, let's head back to the desert. Why not? Also, I could actually set up that mangrove uh, nether portal while we're out there. I mean, yeah, it's a little bit of a side trip, but, you know, we could do that. Go get some green for the cactus. All right, copper goes there. Oh, I miss having a sorting system. Need to get one again. All right, so obsidian. At least I have some form of something here. Okay, um, mangrove, 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 mangrove. There it is. Yay! All right, let's go. We'll go back to the desert. We'll pick up some. Uh, some cactus and smelt it down here. Because I think you're right. The cyan might be better. All right. And. All right. 56 minus 229 also would be the. That mangrove portal. So we'll get, said we'll get that portal in place too while we're at it. I could make an ice road. Uh, for that, I would need ice. Which. Uh, I'm not there yet. A nice road would be lovely, though. A little bit harder to do on the nether roof, but it's not too bad. All right, what was that? 56, 229. So that would be, yeah, this way. This way, 56. And... Oops, 56. 56 is back here. Okay, cool. And 229 is going to be... No. I know how coordinates work. Yeah. 56 and negative 229. All right, cool. That's going to put it right about there. Cool. Where's my obsidian? That's not obsidian. 6, 2, 29. Cool. 1, 2, 3. Alright. Um, I've got enough obsidian. I could actually finish the portal. I know it's not strictly necessary, but still. Also, always be sure to uh, be sure your portal is spawn-proof. Hey, JS. Welcome in. Ah. Oh, neutral. Okay, nice. $485. That does not sound like fun, JS. After all the other car trouble you've had lately. All right, let's make sure this mangrove portal works. Okay, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. And yes. All right. Nice. Well, that's convenient. Thought it'd be nice to be able to get out there to the uh, 
to the mangrove when it's needed. Let's go get the that cactus now and see what uh, dye we can get to. Ah, oh. yeah. Seriously, JS. Hopefully, it's nothing serious. Because seriously, it should be not serious. I. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Hey. I guess I'm stealing somebody's bed. Hi. Can I? Actually, I don't think I even have to steal somebody. I think some somebody stole my bed, so we're good. This was my uh, this was my little base while I was exploring over here. Ha! Huh, that's right. Ooh, sea pickles. I like sea pickles. Sea pickles are good. I mean, sure. Oh, yeah, and all the TNT. Yeah, cool. All right. Let's get a little cactus. I need an axe. There we go. All right. So I've, I have a, a little bit of cactus back at my base, but not a lot. And it said I haven't set up a, a cactus farm yet, so we'll just... Now, over there was a fake cactus. There was a creeper hanging out over there. And for now, I'm kind of hoping that it stays wherever it was because I don't want to deal with it. Okay, go ahead and replant the cactus. Because it'd be nice to let it, uh, let it grow. Did it despawn? I think it did. Okay. All right, so let's see if we can grab maybe half a stack. And we'll use some of it for the die, and I'll save some of it for uh, for a future farm. Okay. Um, I don't know that I want to be down here. Actually, I'm fairly certain I don't want to be down there. So we'll uh, just not be down there. Ow. Okay, that'll work. All right, so let's go see what what uh, some cyan dye would look like in that that ring. Because I I think you're right, Fresh. I think that's gonna be I think that's gonna be a, a fairly nice look with a little bit darker color. All right. That's fine. We'll get it. Uh, I, yeah. Sometime in the not too distant future, I'm going to have to find the end portal. I'm not quite sure I'm ready for my series to end yet, so it might have, it might wait. I mean, the last time, I think the last two times I fought the dragon, I did it without dying. But, you know, <laughs> some days. All right. So let's jump in here. Let's see. We'll, uh, yeah, we'll throw in the sea pickles because I said it'll just be good to, to have them around. <sighs> hey, down. Down, boy. Very good. All right, so let's melt up some of this. Hmm. I may have to. Yeah, I'm gonna have to buy some more lapis. That's fine. It'll give this bamboo or this bamboo, this cactus, a chance to cook. Okay. Let's go. I think I threw the cash over. This way. Yeah. Wonderful. All right. So we'll go ahead and get ourselves some lapis. Wonderful. All right. So that's now blue dye. 
Let's pick up our cactus, which should now be green dye because up this one. Wonderful. And let's see. It's like I got decorative. I don't know where I put anything now. Oh, and I need to replace my mouse. It's not having a good day. Apparently, neither is my cat. You okay over there, cat? <laughs> I, Dusty, you okay there? Oh, he's got his toy. That's what his deal is. Okay. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and get all that in place and... Let's see how this goes. Well, I didn't abandon it. My my daughter was here, you know. Okay. Yeah, I think you're right. I think that, that cyan was definitely the way to go with this. I also think it would be really nice if I had my shovel. Okay. I mean, I, I suppose the cat could be cranky because I wasn't here, but the cat doesn't like me that much. Okay, yeah, I think this is going to be a good outward face to this thing. Sweet. Sweet, sweet. Okay. Awesome. So, what we have now is, and actually, we have a face. Okay, that, that's fine. It's a face. <laughs> All right, so now what I need to do is figure out where this is. So, let's dig this way. Because now that I kind of have an idea where the the aquarium is gonna go. I wanna connect in over here because part of what I want to do part of what of what I want to do with this whole aquarium setup is I want to have a space to breed turtles. Um I suppose also a place to breed frogs for tadpoles, which is why I stopped over the mangrove forest, but or the mangrove swamp, I guess. But, am I too far in? Oh no, I'm getting there. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect out here, try to figure out where the edge of my aquarium is going to be. Because that's all going to be wet and wild and, you know, full of water and stuff. But then somewhere up this way, I'm going to set a little sandy area for the turtles to do turtley things. Now, I need turtles. I really only need them for a couple things. I've got some turtle eggs, but it would be nice to be able to get more easily. And I want to make a turtle shell helmet because turtle shell helmets give you um, uh, so like water breathing effect and stuff like that for a while, which is really nice because I'd like to avoid that whole drowning thing. So, yeah, that's the idea. So as soon as I get this all kind of in place and figured out, I can start to figure out where I want to put my turtles. Oh, because, you know, turtles are fun. Also, it would be really fun if I could... Uh, provide a way for them to get into the aquarium here and all this stuff. Yeah. You know, sometimes. Like, yeah, it's, um, is it five or ten ticks? Something like that. It's, it's not long, but it's 
I don't know. I've, I've only had a turtle helmet once it, it, when I was on the uh, Roadcraft SMP. I just, I typically just don't worry about it. So, this will be interesting. But yeah, I think a nice little area up here might be worth it. Yeah, I have to go back and look. I've, I don't remember exactly. And again, it's not something I've, I do often, so. Okay, do I want to actually build out the bottom of the aquarium? You know, I think I kind of do. Oh, okay. No, that's fine. It just means lots and lots of digging. Okay, did I fill out that? Okay. Cool. So what I'm going to have to do here is... Two, right? I think that's how I did it. Okay, let me sleep and then we'll go take a look and shape the bottom of this thing. Ah, oh, but it'll be nice to have the extra extra water stuff, you know? Because, yeah, it's two and then it's over. Okay. Yeah, it's Builds going through an awkward phase, which most builds do, honestly. Which and that's fine. Okay, so now we're gonna come down to this gets dug out. I think. Was it there? Alright, hang on. What was it? Two on the diagonal? Okay. Nice. So that will go then down there. Okay. No, down there. Sure. All right, let me break this glass and then go. Okay, nope. Oh, that would be horrible. Ugh. Yes, how did you die in Minecraft? Well, I forgot to breathe. That would be, you know. <sighs> uh, 10 seconds. Okay, yeah. Cool beans. All right, so, right, this is the. S yeah, this is the center. Right, it's at the top. Right, okay, yeah. One, two, three. Wow, am I super confused or what? I think I'm going to go with super confused for uh, 200. Alex, thank you. Okay, so this is going to come down here just like that. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. All right. So now, are we good? Are we lined up? Are we totally not something? Oh yeah, this is, why am I confused? Because I cannot count maybe, is that the problem? <laughs> All right, MTP connectors, okay. All right, so that's going to get dug out there. Right, so this all comes out. Okay, so now this should be two blocks. Okay, oh yeah, I think I'm just up a little high. Okay, no, this is all going to make perfect sense eventually. A cram. Okay. Honestly, I don't do enough networking stuff. Oh, they crammed 12 fibers into a single connector. Yeah. Yeah, fiber is definitely not something I ever want to deal with. Okay, so... 
All right, so coming down from here, that's... That was probably a mistake to put the dirt in there, but it's okay. All right, I will, I will eventually figure this out. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but soon. All right, so we're going to come up. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. Okay. So coming from one, two, three. Yeah, okay. Two. All right, and... So this needs to come out here. And there we go. Sweet. All right, yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to come in here with some more water, but. Oops. Let's uh, see if I can do this without, you know, drowning again, because it was so much fun the last time. Okay. All right, cool. So that's going to go that way. And yeah, going to have to figure out where all this is going. All right, so maybe what I'm going to have to do here is, okay, we'll put in one, two, three this way. Okay, so that's going to go down that way, and then it's four across here. Okay. One, two. Nope, 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 nope. That's not how that goes. One, two, three, four. Okay. Cool, and one, two, three, and then two. One, two. So this guy needs to come out and be... I don't know why I thought it was a good idea to do a water project before I got my water gear, but I, I did, and now I'm sort of feeling the pain. But it would be easier if I did it from this side, so <laughs> let's do that. Okay, we're just going to come down this way. It's going to be great. Okay, so that's going to go that way. Okay, so that's going to go that way. Nice. Ah, whoa, wait, hang on. Hang on. I said do the thing. Okay. All right, I think I actually have... I actually have a circle. I think I do. <laughs> Oh, I need to go around the other side, but we got this. We got this. All right. Okay. So this is going to come under. All right. So we get the diagonal, which should be there. Okay. And then two, three, four. I think that's right. Oh, no, one, two, three, between the corner piece, actually, which would be right here. Okay. Two, three, one, two, three, four, right? Yeah, and then three, and then two, okay. I think to right and then this one I think should be that there and one I think this one should be cyan as well okay it's really hard to see underwater but uh I can see it well enough to know that I got it wrong. Yeah, okay. No, we're, we're, we got this. 
Okay. So that goes there like that. Okay, right? Sure, this this makes all the sense in the world. So one, two, all right. Ah, no, we're, we're, we're gonna get this. We're totally gonna get this. All right. All right, now the catch is, can I actually count the, the actual, the problem here is that it's, uh, the color is throwing me off. And it's, and it's really hard to see in the, with the water, so. It's just making it a little bit of a challenge. Okay, so that's two, three, four, and three. Okay, and then that one goes think we've got it other than um okay i've got a couple of extra blocks down there cool right down here these guys okay nope we got this aqua affinity would be awesome one of those things I'm, I'm oh breathing breathing's awesome too yeah no no it's okay it's okay we can breathe we can breathe okay so we've got I think we're set okay I do need to take that out and dig out a whole bunch oh, why do I get myself involved in pr projects that seem really simple on the surface and then they end up being really large <laughs> oh, okay mostly though it's just going to be a lot of digging really digging is easy all right nice so we'll, we'll pull all of this out here Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's an easy feeling to get into, right? It's like, oh, yeah, this is this is going to be great. It's a piece of cake. No problem. Oh. Well, sure. I've just signed myself up for an, an hour of digging all of this stuff out. That'll be fine, right? So, actually, here's an interesting question. So... This con or this stone is going to come out. I'm going to put in a layer here. That's going to be the top of the aqu aquarium. Should I make that blue, or should I go ahead and leave it clear? As far as the glass goes, because so I do want to seal it off. I don't want to, because I want to potentially be walking through it. Oh, tree houses are hard. Well, no, they're not hard. They're just a pain. For that whole leafy reason, right? I built one. I oh, built one over on uh, oh, Mandolin's nerdy SMP. And oh, so many leaves. It was a big jungle tree. And yeah, just leaves everywhere. Collecting them takes forever. Placing them takes an, a second level of forever. I put the dies. I know I had a die box here. Okay. All right. So I may come back to that. Um, cool. Put that away. Okay. I'm done with that. I'm done with the obsidian. Um, but this does not solve my problem here um do i want to do it in blue i mean I've, i can keep buying lapis i mean that's fine it would yeah actually i think i do that means i'm going to need a lot i have to grind out a lot of emeralds 
You know, it's funny. You look at, um... Oh, right. Yep, yep. And the circles. There's actually a really great website out there for doing Minecraft circles. I forgot what it's called, but it exists. Um... But I end up... Well, I ended up freehanding this one in. That's its own special breed of, of fun, right? <sighs> so, all right, cool. All right, so we'll go ahead and run this glass this way. Now, on the bottom, I don't know, except for the front of this aquarium, I don't know that I'm actually going to need glass because they'll be the bottom of the aquarium and that doesn't have to be on glass that can be on anything beyond stone for that matter okay so so this is all going to come this way all right oh right yeah Yeah, bedrock is its own special breed. Okay, so I think what I want to do here... I've got this circle. Let's see. How far in do I want to put the turtle sanctuary? Right now, because the turtle sanctuary is going to need sand for the turtles to lay eggs on. Um, I don't think I'm going to go too nuts with anything else but I'm not going to do like an automated scoot collection system or anything like that eh, actually I probably should but that's just a hopper minecart to to run for uh, a little bit while I until I get the what's it five scoots that I need okay so Nice, so if I put the sand here, and if I get real clever with trap doors, probably, then what I could do is I could put basically a two block high space, right, for the the turtles to go through, so they can get in and out if they, if they want to. Oh, yeah. I can see that. Yeah, people get... I don't know. I don't know. I said I... Now, I have a special place in my heart for... for Bedrock. Um, because I started my Minecraft journey on the PlayStation. But... Uh, beyond that... But yeah, that's one of the reasons I stopped uh, my Create Mod series was I was having bug issues and I got tired of dealing with the bugs. Okay. Yeah, so I think that'll work. I'll just come down here. All right. And diggy diggy. Ugh. My kingdom for a beacon. I do have to to run into the nether soon-ish to get some blaze rods. Oh, I want to I want to do the zombie cure dance with with my librarians and I'm, honestly probably my smiths just so the iron trade's a little bit nicer since I don't Went with a single module iron farm. But I need blaze powder to craft up some of the stuff. All right, let's go. All right, so I can craft up the weakness potions and stuff like that. <sighs> Plus, I could actually really benefit from having things like a an ender chest. <laughs> you know, 
Ender chests are really nice and be nice to have one or two or a dozen. Okay, I need sand. Do I still have sand? Well, wonderful. All right, no, th this is fine. This is fine. We'll just uh, figure this out. Also, I was surprised. I was going through my one of my through my storage there a little bit to find something or other, and I realized I have enough netherite that. Uh, Another right scraps that I can make up another ingot and there and upgrade one more tool or armor and I'm not entirely sure what I want to uh, what I want to upgrade first I mean I've got my pickaxe of course but I don't know if I want to do another one or uh right maybe my my shovel or my axe or my sword I just my axe might be better but hmm. actually that might be better too would be to let's see if I'm so I'm standing up here right this is my this is sort of the walkway out that way so if I were to put the turtles down here right so let's say Let's just bring this this way. I do have dirt. That would be better. The dirt will be easier to see. Okay. So if I put dirt here, the sand out this way for the turtles to stand on, right? Because the turtles are going to need to do their whole uh, place, you know, their stuff on sand. Um, And I said I do want them to be able to go into... I think I need to move it down one block. Okay. Yeah, I do want them to be able to go into the uh, the aquarium. Just because it would be cool to see the turtles in the, in the aquarium. Right? It'll just look cool. All right. So, let's see now. Oops, of course, that's not going to stand there. Now, oops, that's... Also put all that in the wrong place, so... Go me. Okay. All right, so if I do something like that... Turn off the mob farm. Okay. I mean, I could actually have put it, I could put it on the bottom, but heck, I could put it in the middle too, but so I could do that. No, on, actually, no, I'm going to, I'm going to put this down here. I'm going to put it on the bottom. So yeah, I think that this will make sense. So I want to put in the turtle sanctuary down here or well on this side of the the aquarium and you know i could put it up at the top right where it's easier to get to from up here but i've got a bunch of uh, like the hopper mine carts that are gonna have to sit underneath this to collect all of the scoots and things when the turtles hatch so it might be better if i put it down here what I do need to do, though, is see if I can actually put sand on top of the rails. If not, that's... I'll have to figure out something else. But I think that's going to be a little bit nicer. And then I could just take a ladder or something down into the turtle sanctuary. So, Ah, cool beans. Cool beans. I think this will work. All right. So now... So let's experiment. Can I place sand on the rails or will it just fall and break I know if I were to use string it would work just fine but I, I can put the sand on string but you know you can't put sand on a torch for example I don't think 
fairly certain anyway. All right, rails, here we go. So let's just grab, grab a rail. Okay. Ah, yes, okay, perfect. So I actually could, I actually could do that. Oh, okay, that'll be perfect then. All right, so I want to get the rails in before I put in all the sand, but let's just see where everything is going to go before I do that. All right, yeah, this is going to make so this is going to make sense. Um I'm sure sense is going to be made at some point in the future. Yeah, see the categories. And you got to trust the cats. I mean, if you can't trust your cat, I mean, who can you trust? Because, you know, what could be more trustworthy than a cat, right? I, nothing. No, nope, no, nope, that's it. Cats, the most trustworthy things ever. And they would never lie to you. Especially not about whether or not they've eaten in the last five minutes. Nope, they are perfectly honest about all of that. All right, so let's see. I think... I'll do two rows. It doesn't really matter for the sand. Um, I do need to have some additional area here for them too. So maybe, heck, I could just use this whole thing. Now all of the sand will come out again before I, when I put in the rails, but let's just, let's just see things, right? Okay, so this is gonna come out Something like that. Oops. Well, that was the sound of failure. Turns out a bow is not nearly as effective uh, as a silk touch pickaxe at digging up stuff and leaving it there. So, yeah. Ah, God, I love the silky and the touchy. All right. Now, see, this is this will work because what I'll do is I'll set up the sand, run the hopper minecart under it, and I'll set up a little something so that the uh, the turtles look look like they're happy, and so I can get in there with sea grass and feed them. the The eggs will hatch. The baby turtles will run around here, being all cute and turtle like, and then. What I'll do, I think what I should do is lock the turtles in at least until they've hatched and I've got my shoots and then I can open up this area. So, okay. Okay, now this is going to make all sorts of sense. All right, let's go get some... I think I have some bamboo trap doors already made up. If not, well, I've got some bamboo that I can make it up with. This is going to be great. I think I know what the plan is. It's always good to know these things, right? Uh, bamboo. Here we go. Cool. You know. Oh, I haven't even. <laughs> I'm filling from the wrong barrel. But stone does tend to stack up, so I may have to deal with some uh, bulk stone storage somewhere. Okay, now nah, this is going to be great. So what I'll do is... Yeah. Put these trap doors in this way. That way they open like that. And then what I can do is put these trap doors in here like this. Okay. Now what's cool is when they're is the they'll sort of they'll sort of mesh a little bit with the look of the sand. Birch would probably look better, but you've got that white um it, white center part. But while these are here, the turtles can climb up over them and into the aquarium 
but then I can close them and, and keep the turtles trapped. So that'll be that'll be really handy. So for getting the, the turtle farm in place. Okay, cool. I think this is I think this is good. So I think the next thing on my agenda is all of the digging. So much digging. All right, so let's see. Do I want to do to, I guess I could dig out to here. All right, and just dig out this big cylinder most of the way. I don't know that I'm going to actually want this said to go all the way down to the far end. I'll probably stop it somewhere, <laughs> right? And for that matter, I'll, I'll probably not run glass all the way, even when I do bring this at least past the turtle sanctuary. Because frankly, nobody's going to be looking in on that side. So I could just set up, I don't know, probably like bamboo logs or something out there just to backdrop the the uh, aquarium yeah I think that's gonna I think that'll work and I can mix and match regular bamboo logs stripped logs right all of that stuff and then I can said so I can end the I can end the aquarium you know anywhere really back here but I think I'll let the top of the hill decide um, you can if you choose but you have to if I just let the water go down then I don't have to worry about it plus where the trapdoors are sitting is the is the glass so I don't have to worry about the you know, the water looking weird, right? I just fill in water here so it curtains down. And we should be okay. And yeah, and, and if I... The problem is I don't want to waterlog them because I don't want water to run into the aquarium. So hopefully that'll be okay. If not, well, I'll come up with a plan B or something, but... For now, it's okay. I said, if I have to, at least until the turtles are grown up and I've got the scoots that I need, I could just replace that with glass and put the trap doors back in when I'm ready. But that's something that's taken me years to get used to is um, I don't I, it's okay for me to break things. It's okay for me to uh, redo stuff. Redoing was less of an issue, but I can break things. I don't have to have a door. If I want a little hidey hole to AFK, I could just break the wall. Um, I'm going to put fish in. Fish don't need air, so that's okay. Um, I think frogs need air, so they'll... They may not make it. Um, the turtles will also need air, but they'll have... I suppose it's possible they'll drown. I'm not planning on putting in dolphins, so... <laughs> the one thing I could do is I could put in that top, but not... Whoop, hang on. But not fill the, the aquarium all the way to the top, right? So I could... Right, the top of the aquarium is that block, and I could put water at this level. From the bottom, it, it won't won't be able to tell, and I'm going to cover up the top of the aquarium anyway. So, anything that makes it to the top will still have air if they need it. What I could do, if I want to get really cheaty, is I could put a layer of glass. Speaking of cheaty, the free cam. Um, I could put another layer of glass right back behind here. Maybe slide the turtles over. 
and just fill that completely with water so that uh, you get the full water effects up the, the opening here. But then I could still have, so if the turtles feel the need to actually breathe, they can do that. And if I decide to try to bring a dolphin in from an ocean somewhere, I could do that. Okay. Now, I said, I don't know. Really, guys? Really? I, this this uh, is not for you. No. Y'all can go elsewhere. Take your shooty shooty bits and go bug somebody else. Really? No, seriously. That's true. The fish would suffocate. But we'll see. So I'd like I'd like to get some turtles in there, but though to be fair, I could put turtles in there and then just seal it up. They could go up top and breathe, but just sort of uh deal with it that way. So yeah, yeah, these are all sorts of fun, uh, fun dealy bobs I get to deal with. Okay, do I have an, uh, I do have a bucket. All right, hang on. Of course, if I kill them out here, I'm probably close enough to everybody that I'll get uh, get the stupid curse because I've I've got all of my villagers there right in the building, so that would be really unpleasant to uh, kill off the captain and then instantly get. Uh, uh, okay, instantly get the bad omen. All right, well, let's see what I can do to, to draw them away. Hi. Especially because I think I still have an iron golem running around up there somewhere. Uh, I don't know why my nose is itching so much today. I know, it's probably because I brushed my cat and there's, I got cat hair in my nose. Oh, I suppose I could have come in here and milked the cows too. Yeah. The uh, gunpowder farm is still working nicely. It's lousy. Uh, it's a lousy string farm, but the gunpowder works great. All right. Let's see. Is that iron golem still out here? Or did he wander off? Okay, probably. Oh, there he is. Perfect. Um, in theory, fresh, but, uh, I would, the world unloads, so there's a possibility they could still be around. Or they'll just be there in the ocean. Well, we'll give it a shot. I, I always end up with weird, or it's, I guess maybe it's not weird, it's just my expectations of the despawning mechanics never quite seem to match reality. It's like, well, the world uh, wasn't loaded, so they they are still here. This guy's just there to keep uh, the piglins under control when they come out of the portal. All right, so we have to give that... It's about a 10-second, 15-second cooldown. There, we'll... Uh, We'll meander up here for a minute. Repair my pickaxe. It's not going to take a lot, and uh, it'll be long enough, I think, that I'll that they should despawn. Uh, 
up and up and up. I'm really annoyed though, because my mouse is acting up. And I think it's dying and I don't have a good replacement. I have generic mouse replacements, but I don't have one with extra buttons and programmable buttons and stuff. And that's sort of annoying. Okay. I like a nice AFK XP farm. All right, so I suppose I should, might as well repair all the tools while I'm here. Let's see. Yeah, I've thought about putting like mending and unbreaking on my ax and it, and it just, just haven't got around to doing it yet. Or my ax and my shield. I've got many I'm breaking on my axe. <laughs> Put on my shield. Hey, okay, come on, guys. It's okay. Uh, sometimes the packs just don't spawn well. It's really annoying when I got a pack of piglins up here and they all just, they're all the little ones. So you don't get XP from those guys. You don't get drops from them either. So. Okay. Yeah, hardly enough gold to make it worthwhile, but yeah, whatever. Okay, so assuming we've got the respawn stuff correct, yeah, I should be able to step out here and they'll be gone. Maybe. Oh, right, I keep meaning to... So, speaking of mistaken spawning mechanics, I've got a ladder here, right? First off, I didn't, I forgot that mobs could spawn on slime to begin with. And second, I brought this ladder all the way down to the level of the slime. I really should take it out and put a carpet in there, but. Still waiting for them to drop a uh, Soul Speed 3 book, but they don't want to. Yeah, it's no big deal. Yep, they're still down there. Well, cheese monkeys. All right, well, we'll do it this way. Oops, it would be really nice is to have my sword. Okay. I mean, the axe is great. I. All right, we're going to just come in down here. See if I can get them just to shoot their boss. Okay. This way. Okay. Yeah, like that. Or not. That's okay, too. Um... Unfortunately, they're in the water, so it's really hard to use fire on them. Let's see, I wonder if I, if I get them this way. Come here, gang. Yeah, all right. Now shoot. Shoot and make this guy well, happy or full of holes, either. I'm okay with either. Okay. Nope, we're going this way. That's right. We're going to come way over here, which I hope is far enough away that it won't. Okay. Got it. <laughs> Cool. We're far enough, far enough away. It's all good. Hi. That's right. Oh. I kind of wish I I could put some of the bow enchantments on crossbows. 
I really prefer using a crossbow. But you can't do, you can't put power five on it. You can't put punch on it. You can't put um, infinity. You can do mending. and I've got a mending bow. But you can't do flame, right? It's just, you can do piercing. But who cares about piercing? I mean, I guess it's nice in some situations, but yeah, most of the time I just, I'd rather use a crossbow. Plus you can leave the crossbow loaded and when the time comes, just pop it up, twang. Okay. There's a hole in somebody now. Oh, well, in any case, looks like I've got some digging ahead of me, but it is time for me to, uh, and stream so let's just duck in here for a minute Whew. so yeah all sorts of all sorts of fun coming up i suppose but it's been fun lots of lots of fun toying with all of the the fun and excitement and the random digging digginess and a much larger tunnel than i was expecting to, to build but that's okay. That's all right. Um, I do want to point you over at my socials. I'm at Music Free Gaming. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fireballs. That's a thing, too, right? Get the, the big firework rockets in your crossbows. Good stuff there. Um, anyway, yes. Yeah, so you can follow me on the socials at Music Free Gaming on Instagram, TikTok, uh, Tumblr. Join the Discord for all the outside of stream chatty goodness and uh next stream i'm i'm will probably be saturday morning so uh yeah probably i think i'll start about 7 30 mountain daylight time so be sure to uh subscribe and turn on notifications for all that of course like the video all that good stuff and until next time be excellent to each other this is music for gaming signing off